This is a video demonstration on how to add an Excel layer in Spatial Excel. To add an Excel layer, you will need a spreadsheet with coordinate data. Here I have a spreadsheet of around 2000 or so shopping centers or malls with coordinate data and some information about these centers, which I'm going to add as a new layer to my map. Before I do this, I just need to do some checks on my data. First, I need to make sure that my coordinate columns are correctly named longitude and latitude, or X and Y, and they must be in the very first row in my spreadsheet. I also need to check that there are no empty rows in my spreadsheet. For example, here, I can just right click to remove this row, and then make sure that there are no more empty rows in my range. Your longitude and latitude columns can be either a number or a text format. And the more decimal points that you have in your coordinate values, the better the accuracy will be. I'm now going to add a filter to my spreadsheet just to do some more checks on my coordinate values. As I'm in South Africa, all my longitude values will need to be positive and all my latitude values will need to be negative. If there are records that don't have coordinate values, you can filter these out. For example, here I have coordinates with zero values and I can make all these values blank. This will allow me to enter these coordinates at a later stage and update my map. I also need to make sure that I remove any text values in my coordinate columns. For example, here I can filter these out and again I can just make these blank and I can update these coordinates at a later stage. Finally, I just need to make sure that my spreadsheet has a descriptive name, for example, shopping centers. Now that my data is ready to map, I can open my spatial pane by clicking on my Show Spatial Excel button. For this demonstration, I will choose to add Google Maps as a background layer by clicking on the Google Maps button in my spatial ribbon. You will just need to ensure that you have an internet connection for this. If it is your first time opening Spatial Excel, you may just need to click the Zoom Fit button in the navigation pane to refresh your map. To add my spreadsheet as an Excel layer, I click on a cell in my spreadsheet to select this range, and then I can click on the Add Excel Layer button in the Spatial Excel ribbon. This will bring up my Layer Properties box. In this box, I can choose, for example, to change the color of my points. For example, I will make these red, and I can also choose to make my points either bigger or smaller. And in the general tab, I can choose to change the name of my layer. For example, I will change this to be called shopping centers. And this will match the name of my spreadsheet data. You can access this layer properties box at any time once you've mapped your layer, for example, to do any labeling or create various themes and heat maps. So for now, I'm just going to click OK. All right, and now my shopping center data has been added as a new layer to my map. So every red point that I see here on my map basically represents one of my rows in my spreadsheet. There is now a direct link between my map layer and between my spreadsheet data. So for example, any filters that I do in my spreadsheet will update on my map. So let's do one as an example. I'm going to select region and I'm going to filter out my points that are in Gauteng. And as you see, this will update my map to only show me my centers that are in my Gauteng region. If you want to quickly zoom to this area, you can click on the Zoom Fit Layer button in your navigation toolbar, and this will zoom to the extent of your shopping center points in Gauteng. If I filter again and I filter out only my local convenience centers and click OK, this will further update my map layer to only show me these particular centers. If I clear my filter, all my points will appear back on my map. And I can zoom back out. If I want to locate a particular record on my map, I can select this row, 
click on the Spatial Excel tab and click on either the Zoom or Highlight tools. So first I'll click on Highlight Selection and you'll see it's highlighted that record for me there on my map. And now I can zoom to this record as well. If I want to zoom and highlight multiple records, I can select a couple of rows and highlight and zoom to these records as well. To clear my selection, I can just click clear all highlights. If I want to label my shopping centers and have the name of the centers appear on my map, I can right click on the shopping center layer, select text labels, and then choose the name column. And this will display the names of my shopping centers on my map. If I wanted to find out more information about one of my features, I could click on the inspector tool in the spatial ribbon. And then I can either click or highlight a center that I'm interested in. And in the item properties box, the information on that particular center will appear. And I can click on the select in Excel button to highlight that particular record back in my spreadsheet. Before I zoom back out, I'm just going to switch off my labels. So I right click on my shopping center layer, select text labels and select none. I then click on my zoom fit layer button in my navigation pane to zoom back out to my layer extent. I'm now going to create a map theme or a color coded layer on my shopping center data. You can create a theme on any column that you have in your spreadsheet. For this example, I will create a theme on my region column to display each region in a different color on my map. To create a map theme, right click on your layer and select properties. This will bring up the layer properties box that first appeared when we mapped our layer. I click on the thematics tab and then on the new theme button to give my theme a name, for example, region. I then click on the colors tab and from the color column drop down menu, I will select the column that I want to theme. I will leave the default as color on text values as I'm currently doing a text theme and not a number theme. I then click on choose unique colors and this will bring up a list of all my regions with selected colors. If I want to change any of these colors, I can simply click on the color and choose a different color from my color template. When I'm done, I can click OK. My map layer will now update to display my regions theme. I can tick layers on and off within my theme to display only some of my regions. To access my default theme again, I can right click on my shopping centers layer, select the theme menu and choose default. My points will now display in my original color. To create another theme, for example, a theme on type of center, I can right click my layer and go back into my layer properties box, click on the thematics tab and click new theme. Here I will type the name of my theme, for example, type and click OK. I click on the colors tab and from the color column drop down option I will select type. I can leave it as a text value and click choose unique colors and here I will see my different types of shopping centers in different colors. I can click OK and my layer will update to show me my new theme. I could now, for example, go to my spreadsheet data and filter by region to display only my centers in my Gauteng region. I can click my zoom fit button to zoom in. And now I'm seeing my type of centers displayed for my Gauteng region only. And I could tick these on and off as I needed. You can use filters and map themes in conjunction to display and analyze your data in many different ways. Lastly, to do any map selections on my layer, I can choose from my square, my radius or my area selection tools in my spatial ribbon. For example, I can select the circle tool and I can draw a radius on my map from a certain point to about, in this example, 10 kilometers. 
and this will select and highlight all my points within my 10 kilometer radius and it will give me a count in my spatial ribbon. I could use the area tool to draw my own area on my map and select the points. The number of features will again highlight in my spatial ribbon and to select these features in my spreadsheet I can click on the select in Excel button and here I can choose to select and also the color the background of these rows in my spreadsheet. I can then either copy these features out to a new spreadsheet by clicking Ctrl C and then pasting these out to a new sheet. Or I can just filter the selection out within my current spreadsheet by doing a filter by color. And this will update on my map. I can also add a new column to my spreadsheet to record these rows. For example, I will add a column here. And then I will just make sure to click on my Update Layer Extent button to refresh my map layer. I can then come back and filter out the selection at any time in future and my map will automatically update. To save my data and my map layer, I can simply click on the Save button and this will automatically save any changes to my spreadsheet and my map layer. This has been an introduction on how to add and work with Excel layers in Spatial Excel. Please contact us with any queries or for information on our other Spatial Excel tools and features.